Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365. I'm Dan Herring and welcome back to Top Water Tuesday. Today we have one that you're going to want to see. It's a lure that I've kept kind of secret over the years. I've been fishing it for three years. I call it the plow and in a few minutes I'll show you everything on how this thing fishes and how good it can be. So I've shared this bait before on my channel, but this time I'm going to be going into more of the secrets behind it and more detail on how to fish it and what I do with it. But it's a, a very simple bait and we'll show you the three components right here. So here are the components that you need to make up the plow. It's three simple components. Number one, you need a belly weighted hook of some sort. I have a couple different options here. Number two is you need a skirt. These are all turbo flare skirts that I get from Jan's Netcraft in different colors here. This one is a finesse turbo flare skirt. It's what I used recently on this bait right here. And then you need, thirdly, a swim bait. This one is a Kitek Swing Impact Fat. And this one here is a Reaction Innovations Skinny Dipper. Okay, so you see we got the skirt, we got a belly weighted hook, and a swim bait. It's that simple. But boy, the bait looks really good under the water and it, uh, it you can fish this thing in a number of ways. You might wonder why do I call it the plow? I call it the plow because I can fish it through anything. It's weedless. It's got this slot on the, on the swim bait. The hook just goes into the slot. I can throw it through lily pads. I can throw it through milfoil on the top, right through all of it, anything. Just throw it in the trees, in the branches. That's why I call it the plow. I just plow, I just throw it out there and I just plow it through everything, or anything. And this belly weighted hook, it determines how deep the bait's going to go. So if I want to fish it deeper, then I'm gonna use a much heavier weight on that belly weighted hook. But this is Topwater Tuesday, and I like this as a topwater presentation, so that belly weight is light, maybe an eighth ounce, something like that. But because the bait has some additional bulk to it, you can still throw it very far. Now before we get too much farther, I'll tell you what I'm fishing it on. I'm using a medium heavy rod that's meant for jigs or jig fishing. This is, just happens to be a Ducat Terex rod. I also am using a high speed reel. This is a Bass Pro Shops Carbon Light 2. I like this reel in uh, 8.3 to 1 and that's what I believe this one is. And I'm using braided line, 20 pound test braid, with a fluorocarbon leader. Now you might wonder why am I using a leader if I'm throwing this in a lot of slop. Well I want the I want to have the versatility of throwing it in the, in the shallow stuff but also to fish it outside of a weed edge so the same bait can be used for both and that way that's why I have the leader on here because if I'm going to be fishing over weeds or in more open water well then I want to use that leader and so that's what I do if I'm going to fish both ways if I was just gonna fish pads or slop then I would go to straight braid so all you do is you just slip the skirt right over the end of the hook at the very edge and then you just rig it the way you would rig any normal Texas rig with your bait and it fishes quite nicely. So I was recently at the lake fishing this, in fact it was just yesterday, my brother joined me for part of the trip and I was throwing it with a swing impact fat like a 3.3 and just trying to make it look like a bluegill and I was using a small bait because the bluegill are small still right now and I'm noticing that in the shallows the bass are chasing and eating these little bluegill. So I caught it, I had one that was blowing up on it and uh, missed them. I caught a little one on it and each one of these fish was tearing this up. So I decided to try and find a bait that was a little bit more robust and I remembered the skinny dipper. This is the Reaction Innovations skinny dipper. And this is a little bit more thicker plastic. Now what I did was I cut about a quarter inch off the head and made the bait a little smaller so that it looked more like those bluegill. How you doing? Good, how are you? All right. And I also noticed that this bait worked differently than, than, the, than the Swing Impact Fat. It still had the tail kick. The Swing Impact Fat has this real wide wag on the tail. It just wags a lot. This one still had that pretty good tail whack, but it had a rolling action here. And I actually videoed it under the water for you to take a look at. Take a look at this.
can see how this thing works under the water and you know when you're crawling it over stuff you're crawling it over those weeds and pads and there's little holes and that's what I was doing yesterday when I, cra I crawled it over a, a weed clump a milfoil clump and it was a little hole in there and I just stopped it and, and it just kind of goes like it, like it's dying and one came up and just blew up all over it that was a good five and a half pounder maybe a little bigger and, and that was a good fish and a lot of fun to catch so we'll take you to the water now, show you how I'm fishing this, where I'm fishing, and get an idea for, for how the bait works and, and what you can do with it. I remember one time fishing more at the mouth of this cove and a big fish came up and like kind of just slashed at this thing, had a lure like this. What the? Huh. He hardly has any black stripe on it. Eat the plow. Plow? What the heck is that? Oh, the plow. It goes through anything. Is it a jig head on it? It's a skirt on a on a hook with a weight on the belly. Oh. I just throw a skirt in front of it and then it looks like a bluegill in the water. Look at this. Huh. And a topwater frog with that thing. Huh. What the I mean, get close to him. Pissed them off. What is that? Huh? What the hell happened? He came and smashed this bluegill. Ooh. Yeah, I can tell by the freaking splash. Okay, what did you do? Could you get the net? Oh, He's just hooked on the top of the mouth. Yeah, that's a nice one. He's getting a bluegill meal. He's got some shoulders and some yeah. weight to him. Oh yeah, he's got a slab slide on him. Get out of your way here. It's a long one too. Yeah, he's got a mouth on him. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, he'll be fine. Got him in pretty quick. That's it. That's the plow. Simple and effective. The thing, uh, it catches fish. It has a really good action. The thing that makes it special is the skirt. And that's what, to me, makes it better than just a, a swim bait on a belly weighted hook. You put that skirt on there and things change. It, it allows you... Hello. Hey, yeah, I'm doing all right. Good, good season, good time of year for you. Yeah, it is. Yeah, all right, back to live action. So I think the thing that makes it special is the, is the skirt. It allows the bait to plow through things even better because it has that blunt, more of a blunt head. And I think it just makes more commotion in the water, attracts the fish. And then you get that, what we call that secondary action. When you stop and go, the skirt flares. And that might look like gills or fins or whatever. It just looks alive. And you could see that in that in the video where I, where I showed you on how it swims under the water. Just a really good presentation. Doesn't give off many negative cues and it catches fish. I'm gonna, this is the time of year too, to throw it. This is the time I like to throw. I like to throw it in spring when the, when the pads are just coming up. And I like to throw it in fall when you start getting those openings in the pads. The bass are still in there, but there's openings in there. Same thing with the milfoil. It's thinning out a little bit, but there's still a lot of milfoil and the fish are living there. This thing is a great presentation for when you're, for when you're throwing, for when you're fishing that situation. Well, that's it. I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Keep it tuned here. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. Remember be safe out there and as always may God bless your fishing endeavors